Spooky Stories with the Confused Dudes. The Vanishing Hitchhiker. Have you heard that story, asked Juliet. DJ and Parker shook their heads and leaned in closer. What I heard, Juliet continued, was that a boy picked up a hitchhiker one stormy night. She sat in the back of the driver's car and then gave directions to her house. When the driver got to the address the hitchhiker had given him, he turned around and, tell us, tell us, DJ pulled his blanket up to his chin. The hitchhiker had disappeared, she yelled. Good one, sis. Can you tell us some more? These are awesome spooky stories, Parker chimed in. He shoved a handful of popcorn into his mouth. Are you sure you two dudes won't get too scared? She shined a flashlight over her face and then cackled like a witch. DJ chuckled. Come on, sis, you are talking to the biggest spooky story experts in the entire elementary school. Juliet chuckled. Okay, two more. Just don't get used to me being your sleepover entertainment. Have you heard the one about sewers? Both boys shook their heads. Here's what I heard. So my friend's cousin's best friend lives in Florida. One day, she was walking down the street after leaving a grocery store. She accidentally dropped her bag over a sewer. When she bent down to pick it up, she saw... What? What did she see? Parker prompted. A scaly, green, ginormous mouthed alligator. Parker laughed delightedly. Creepy cool. She must have run right home. And made it snappy, DJ joked. He snapped his jaw open and shut like an alligator. Okay, spooky dudes, last story. Juliet held the flashlight back over her face. Here's what I heard. A little boy named Harvey loved to chew gum. All day, he would chew and chew and chew. The problem was that he loved gum so much, once the flavor was gone, he would swallow it. He just couldn't bring himself to spit it out. Day after day, he'd swallow more and more flavorless gum. One day, he woke up with a horrible pain in his stomach. And then the strangest thing happened. He began to burp nonstop. And each time he burped, a pink bubble flew out of his mouth. That's not scary, Parker laughed. That's hilarious. Do you know what caused the burp bubbles? It takes seven whole years to digest a single piece of swallowed gum. All those wads of gum stayed in Harvey's stomach and grew bigger and bigger and bigger. DJ held his stomach. I've swallowed gum before. By accident, though, not like Harvey. Me too. Parker bit his fingernails. And with that, spooky dudes, I bid you good night. Parker began to panic. Dude, my stomach hurts. Do you think it's the gum? DJ contemplated. I think we've got a real problem. Who knows what happened to Harvey next? Parker shuddered. What if the gum becomes more than a flavorless glob? What if it becomes monstrous, DJ continued. With glowing green eyes and a huge evil grin, Parker added, growing bigger and bigger and bigger, DJ yelled. Let's use your computer. We'll search for ways to get rid of gum. Maybe we can find something to help us defeat the bubble gum goblin. An hour later, DJ's door swung open. What are you dudes doing? DJ and Parker each held a jar of extra chunky peanut butter. We're trying to get rid of the goblin, DJ stammered. What? Juliet asked. DJ took a gulp of chocolate milk. Sorry, peanut butter was stuck to the roof of my mouth. Juliet frowned. I'm confused. The gum that gets bigger and bigger, DJ declared. We read that peanut butter gets rid of gum, Parker added. We thought eating tons of it would get rid of the bubblegum goblin. Juliet burst out laughing. Listen up, confused dudes. There is no bubblegum goblin, and gum doesn't actually stay in your stomach for seven years. 
I was simply telling you urban legends. Urban legends are funny or scary stories spread from one person to another. They're a lot of fun, but are usually totally false. So the vanishing hitchhiker is just a fun story to tell at sleepovers, DJ asked? Exactly, bro. What about the story my cousin told me about chain letters? Is that an urban legend? Parker asked. You betcha, buddy. So urban legends are awesome, but there is no bubblegum goblin. Got it? Got it. Come on, spooky dudes. Let's get this peanut butter back downstairs. And since we'll be in the kitchen, who's in the mood for some soda and pop rocks?